Good morning from Montezuma Hot Springs. It's a fairly nice day here on the side of the highway. A little overcast, but that'll make the hot springs feel that much better. It's bright and early, 9 a.m. And the hot spring is right down there. However, there's a lot of people here, it seems like. Uh, or I shouldn't say a lot. There's a fair amount of people here. So I don't actually know how much I'm gonna be able to record, um, but I know there's three different soaking areas here. So hopefully I can um, show you one of them or some of them as people maybe depart. But uh, yeah, let's go down. Here's all the warnings. And there's actually a whole bunch of rules because this is actually on private property. However, they let you soak here. This is owned by the United World College, which is nearby. So here's like the disclaimers. Use at your own risk. No alcohol or drugs. All that. I think that right up there is in fact that World College building. Looks like Hogwarts, doesn't it? So here's the first pool. Leads down this little channel into this almost oh, like a reclining bathtub here. And this water is one of the coolest that we've found so far. Um, it's kind of mild. But yeah, you can see there's a bench here, and let me hop over this mud. Yeah, you can maybe see that it, yeah, it's about, um, goes up to your knees or thighs if you stand down in there. And here's your view. That's the river down there. It's very nice. And this area right here is sort of like a little changing area. And beyond that, you can kind of glimpse maybe there's a set of three pools. And that is kind of the most popular area. So we were soaking in there earlier, but um, you know, there's a, a family over there and people have been coming and going. So there is a top pool that's kind of the lobster pot. It's super, super hot. We could barely even just dunk our toes in for a minute. And that's the very deepest one. And then the water flows out of that one into a middle pool. So it is slightly cooler. And that one is, that one's also fairly deep. Um, it's probably up to your waist or so if you stood up in it. And then the water from that pool goes down even further to a bottom pool where the water is, it's almost like bath water. That's really nice. Um, and that one is pretty shallow. Uh, it was nice to sit in, it would go up to like here, so. Yeah, there's a little bit of algae on the side, but it's pretty clear. You can see little pieces of things floating. Nutrients. Okay, we're heading over to the other spot, which I think also might have people in it, but whatever. <laughs> it's this little path here by the road. Check it out, it's dark enough that they turn this street light on. It was really nice in the water, and it was really nice because um, a cold, cold uh, breeze would come by and cool you off. <sighs> it was a nice day. I think it's 66 degrees or so out here. Uh, it's the end of May. There was a local who was in the pool who was saying that earlier in spring um, the trees start flowering and it's really beautiful and the flowers fall in the water. And it sounded lovely, but it's a very nice day to be here today. All right, here we are. Looks like there's maybe one person down there. Yeah, is it hot? Let me see. It's like, it doesn't feel so bad as like when you first dip it in. Yeah. Once you get past that first like, Ooh, yeah. two inches. Okay, these two over here are also super hot. I think they call this one the toaster for obvious reasons. It looks kind of like one. But uh, yeah, these are really hot. The guy who was in here before was saying, yeah, it's hot. Just, just once you get in there, don't move. <laughs> it won't be so bad. So there's also another pool over that way, but um, there's someone in them, so I won't be able to show them to you, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this video was kind of a bust because there's also um, the ruins of one of the old bathhouses over there. But again, I feel weird recording and talking when there's people over there trying to enjoy a soak. So um, yeah, there was a lot of uh, bathhouses being built and hot spring resorts being built around the 1800s. And they built some really fancy ones. Uh, there was like a Queen Anne style one here, but they kept burning to the ground. So. 
I think uh, really maybe just one kind of remains in the area and I think that's the one that they're using as the administration building for the uh, college so yeah um, I think we're just gonna head out because there seems like there's some weather starting to come in Or there you can see some dark clouds. So that's gonna be it for this video, or maybe I'm combining this with another video since I don't even know what I was able to show. <laughs> but anyway, this was a really beautiful place. I mean, it's kind of our own fault that it's so busy because it's um, Saturday morning. I was hoping we could get here early enough or maybe there wouldn't be as many people that we'd be bothering. But yeah, unfortunately this was the only day that we could get here, so. We'll just have to come back some other time and enjoy it again, maybe on a weekday. And I'm glad we came anyway, even if I wasn't able to show the video. Uh, it was really, really nice soap, and I'd definitely come back. Ooh, yeah, check out the fog on the, the forest up there. Bye.